Today we're gonna go through the Kuhn Tinta and Semi Swatch Book. So this is our swatch book for our Tinta and Semi line. We have both lines in one swatch book for the stylist convenience. It is a nice compact line, so it's not huge. It's not a large investment to bring in into your salons and it doesn't take up a ton of shelf space in your back room. So especially smaller salons or chair renters, it's a fantastic option to have when space is at a premium. To your larger salons, you can bring in the entire line and to your smaller salons, you can bring in part of the line and mix what you need. So if we flip this over, on the back of our swatch book here, all of this information details how to use the Tinta line. It's all broken down into subcategories that's going to answer the majority of stylist questions about how to use, how to mix, and what to use for different color needs. Wow, this has everything, hey? It does. Across the top here, we have our gray formulations, how to mix for your percentages of grays. Underneath, we have our coloring, whether we're using our tinted color and our developers and what kinds of levels of lift we're getting from that. Then we have if we're doing a first coloring application or whether or not it's a regrowth. Following up with our after color shampoo and balsam, which are these bottles here. This is vital whenever we're using tinta or semi to finish. Balsam? What are balsam? Balsam is conditioner. It's oh. a fancy word. Oh, okay. We're European. We like fancy things. Okay. Underneath that, we have our color wheel, which shows where all of our number color characters fit inside that wheel. Also talks about how to use your mix shades, how much goes in each of your formulations. Underneath there, we have our pre-pigmentation fluid and how we use that when we're doing a tint back service. So when we're taking someone from a lighter shade to a darker shade, filling the hair for beautiful results. We talk about how to use our Boosters, we have a red and a blue cool boosters, and then also talk about our lighteners at the bottom. Okay. When we flip this book open one page, on the inside sleeve here, we have all of your information needed for your semi-color. So this again is gonna talk about how to prep the hair for a semi-color, your mixing formulation, timing. Again, we're using our after color shampoo and balsam to follow that service up. And then it also talks about home care for that customer so they have good retail on their hair when they go home. Open up the last page here. This is our beautiful swatch book. So on the far right hand side, we have all of our naturals from one to 10. Going across the top of the swatch book, we have all of our color characters. All the way up here. All the way across the top here. We do use a number system and at the, when we look underneath the number system, we have several different words. The English word is the very bottom one here. Going across the top, we have our 10 to 1, which is our natural series. We have our double zero, which is our ultimate blondes. That is your gray coverage series. Point 0.1 is an ash, and that is a blue-based ash. Beside that, we have our point 0.2, which is a pearl. Point 0.3, which is our gold. All the way across over here is our point 0.4, which is our copper. Point five is mahogany. We have two red series, so our RI, which is our red infinities for your long lasting reds, and a point six, which is a standard red. Point seven is a violet, and point eight is a brown. On the bottom of the swatch book, right across here, we have your key or your legend, which talks about what all the different symbols in your swatch book are. You'll notice there are squares and circles besides some of those shades. So as I mentioned, this is a swatch book for both our Tinta permanent line and our semi line. We do have colors available in both lines. So it is two separate boxes. It's not one color turned into a semi. Mm -hmm. Every symbol on this book that's color coded, those colors are matched on the tubes. Oh, okay. So, so if you're using a permanent you, and if you want to know if it's available in the demi, you just look for that symbol. Absolutely. As well as the colors themselves. So if you notice beside the ultimate cover, mm -hmm. there is like a mauvey purple colored box that matches on your color box oh, as well. So okay. it makes it really easy That's to really find helpful. what you're looking for. Yeah, yeah, and organized as well. It is organized, it's nice and crisp and clean in your color room. You go directly to what you're looking for without having to scan through to find your color match. Yeah, okay. On the bottom of our swatch book here, we have those mixed shades that I was talking about on the back. These can be added to any color to either accentuate or neutralize unwanted or wanted tone. Above there, we have our lift in colors. These are red or copper shades that can be applied on color treated hair to lift and color in one step. Previously, if you got a customer with dark hair, you would have to use a lightener to lift her to the desired level and then color her or tone her with the red, which can fade over time. This way you're able to do that all in one step. 
Above there we have our Ultimate Blonde series. We have our Thousand series, which is for natural hair. This is a little bit of a slightly warmer series. Above them is our 1500 series. That is our Super Ash Blondes. Those again are for natural hair, but are very cool. We have our 2000, which can be mixed to create a cream lightener. So it's a little bit of a hybrid shade. And then we have our 3000 series here. 3000s again are fantastic because they will lift. They are super popular. They them. will lift super color treated popular. hair. Yeah. They are a really fantastic alternative to using a traditional lightener. When we want to lift with control, we're able to lift with these and they have built in toners into them as well. You use a lot, a lot of them, don't you? I, yeah. The 3017 and the 3011 are my favorites. These are also intermixable with each other. So if you've got somebody with a really strong blue undertone, but a slight yellow, you could mix those as well. Lifting with control. Lifting with Sometimes control. Sometimes we like that. Absolutely. Beautiful colors too. I mean, you can just see those colors pop. Look at that. Yes. The colors are very true to swatch, which makes it very easy to find what you're looking for in the swatch book and know that you're gonna achieve those results on your customer's hair. Yeah. So in the United States, Kuhn Hair Cosmetics is huge. It is, yes. Huge, and we in Canada, huge. it's 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 known. It, but I think it's still growing. There's always room for for the color line to grow. But what are your yeah. thoughts on that? We are growing up here. We're growing quickly. We've only been in Canada for a few years. Where in the states, we are going on, I believe, our 20th year or 19th year this year. So it's been quite some time. They've really had the opportunity to play and dive full into it. As we're really launching more products as well, people are becoming more accustomed to the name of Kuhn. They're seeing it on social media, they're seeing it in the modern stores and recognizing that name and wanting to give it a little bit more of a try. So what's the history of Kuhn? Where did it come from? How did it come to be? Kuhn was, is made and manufactured in Europe. We were created in 1922 by a gentleman named Juan Kuhn. Hence the name Kuhn. Hence the name Kuhn. George Kuhn Jr., who is the third generation, is the current owner of Kuhn. And he is he spends half his time between Atlanta, where our North American head office is, and half his time in Holland, which is where all of our products are made and manufactured. Wow. And constantly fixing and making things better and constantly working on things, growing. We are 97 years old, so you know, if we need a little tweak here and there, he's out there working on it. George is really fantastic and listens to what's going on in the market. If people are asking for a new product, then he wants to be able to present them with that.